woke up about six o'clock and Mary said, I looked funny. I said, what happened? Like, are you, did you sleep well or no? And he started to talk to me and I couldn't understand anything he said. And I, and I knew something was wrong. I said, what, what did you say? And he said it again and looked at me like, what do you mean, what did I say? And I said, you're not talking right. And I said, you don't even look right. And he said, I'm fine. So then I dropped a soda. And then I dropped my dog downstairs, halfway down him. And then I agreed with her, something's wrong with me. When my son-in-law came over and said, yeah, Dan, she's right, something's wrong with you. She got me in the car and took me to the hospital. If I had something that I regret the most, I wouldn't have even talk to him about it anymore. I just picked up the phone and called 911. That's what you should do. So when we say time is brain, essentially means as soon as someone is having a stroke, we need to get blood flow restored to the brain as quickly as possible. The type of uh, stroke that Dan had when he presented was injury to the brain because it's not getting enough blood. And so he was suffering from an ischemic stroke, meaning he wasn't getting enough blood supply to a part of his brain because it was blocked off in his neck and within his head. When I got to the emergency room, I expected to just go in and I'd be talking with him. I was pulling in and they were like in a, this crazy mode. I'm like, oh, okay, what's happening? Well, we're taking him to surgery. And I'm like, for what? And they're like, because he had a stroke and I didn't understand stroke. So I'm like, well, what are you operating on his heart? When Dan came to us, he had gone to the emergency room where they had identified him as having stroke symptoms. At that point, we do a specific type of scan called a CT scan to make sure he's not having a bleed in his brain. And then we do another scan to look at the blood vessels and it's called a CT angiogram. And the CT angiogram showed the areas of blockage that he had. At that point, the emergency room physicians and the neurologist contacted everyone on the team and mobilized what's known as the, the stroke thrombectomy system and uh, getting all the tools together and getting into his brain within 30 minutes. And so, you know, we do all these things very fast, but very safely. And it's because we have amazing people all working together to do that. I mean, this was quick. So we've gone down now from he got there and the surgery was at noon on a Thursday. I'm there Friday morning and they've moved him to a room already. And he was released Saturday morning. And we went home and uh, Mary said, well, we're not going to church tomorrow. I said, yes, we are. I said, we're going to go to the church and thank everybody for praying for us. And then after church, uh, I went home and I worked. I went mowed yards that day. Now that is a success story.